Welcome to QDL. QDL is your look at who and what is making news in the world of quality. I'm Dirk Ducharme, Editor-in-Chief of Quality Digest. Uh, you know, it takes a lot of resolve, uh, support, and money for startups to succeed, uh, even when they have a fantastic product. So in order to help advance smart manufacturing, Hexagon Manufacturing Intelligence has launched a program called Sixth Sense that addresses some of the critical roadblocks faced by startups. Sixth Sense helps to identify, nurture, and collaborate with groundbreaking startups uh, in the scaling phase and help move them to the next level of growth. Uh, startups have already uh, pass the technology test, so to speak. Uh, they have a great product. So then the next step is to adapt and scale their business. Uh, here today to talk about Hexagon's Sixth Sense program is Milan Kocic, head of Sixth Sense Open Innovation Platform at Hexagon Manufacturing Intelligence. Milan, thanks for joining us. Thank you for having me. So before we get started, in case people haven't heard the terms of a scale-up or, or a scaling startup, what does that term mean and kind of what are the, what are the problems faced by those, those young companies? Sure. Um, in general, it's really come from the differences between Europe and U.S. In U.S., everything is a startup until either it goes bankrupt, public, sells, or something else happens to it. In Europe, they have different stages of startups, which is there's a startup and then there's a scale up, uh, which is why we now call them scaling startup to kind of combine both European and US approach. And a scaling startup essentially is a company that's probably has a good product market fit, kind of as you mentioned at the introduction, has a product, it's making some money, but it's struggling to scale. So it's struggling to expand, to get a mass so they can then go to the next level of what their growth is supposed to be. So that's kind of the main target, our main, point is to try to help them grow. Okay. And, and what is Sixth Sense? What is it? Uh, what's it do? Sure. Sure. Sixth Sense, you know, we, we don't like to use the world accelerator because there's so many out of them. So reason why we use the open innovation platform, it's really meant to be a community where we bring the startups. So there's a better conversation with startups between a much mature company like Hexagon and the startups that are seeking help. And we have found that over 20 years or so of the existence of accelerators, that the usual help in the past was they needed tech, user experience, some other kind of help in, in that kind of realm. It would seem that the startups these days are a little bit more mature, which means that they don't really need as much tech help, but they definitely need a lot of help to build a business. So they need to know what happens to it and how to, to grow it, how to go to the next stage. So rather than calling an accelerator, it's really an innovation platform where we get to share our expertise with them they get to reach our customers and what kind of outcomes happen depends on different stages of the companies we kind of bring into the platform itself. Okay. And, and how's it work? How does it work? Um, it does have both a continuous cohort. So for those people who don't know what a cohort means, it just means there's basically ongoing in engagement with startups. And then there's probably one to two, maybe three cohorts per year that are specifically built around certain challenges. So if we or a customer has a particular challenge, We'll announce what the challenge is and then invite basically companies to apply that are related to it. So, for example, our first challenge is specifically about AI for improving process anywhere from design to quality. So if any company is doing kind of AI machine learning, big data analysis, and they're applying it to improving processes in general, we've invited those kinds of companies to apply. We'll go through a selection and then there will be two events. One event where we select uh, from 12 companies, we'll select six. They will join the program that goes through different stages and we can go into more details in a second. And then there's a big event in the end of May where we select three companies that will get an outcome depending on the stage of the company and what they're looking for uh, from the program itself. And, and what, are you, are you working with any kind of technology company or are there specific types of technology that you're, you're really hoping to help? It's a good question. Um, I think because we just started, we're kind of looking for everything at this point. Um, we're trying to see we to see where most of stuff is coming from, both globally, both from a technology perspective. Is it mostly software, which it probably will be? Is there some hardware that's involved? And what areas of advanced manufacturing is being mostly addressed? Like where are the sweet spots of what things are going on? Um, by meeting the companies, we'll hope 
that we find out where those kinds of areas are. And then we will see how that's related to Hexagon's business and where Hexagon wants to go. But more importantly, where do customers want to go? Where do they see the areas of problem? Like more recently, with, especially with some of the bigger accounts, they're having issues with different sources of data coming from all over the place. And then how do you combine them into something that gives you a big holistic picture of what's happening with the enterprise? It's kind of the biggest challenge a lot of them are facing today. So, so is this, so the companies that you'd like to focus on, and I'm just, I'm just gleaning this from the promotional material and background mm -hmm. material I've read on, on Sixth Sense, but it sounds like it's those that are in some way involved in smart manufacturing? Correct. Being that manufacturing intelligence today is obviously mostly involved in smart manufacturing, our biggest focus is anybody who enhances the process in smart manufacturing. So it's a rather broad scope today, and we have also an, a broader challenge running at the same time, which is anybody who does anything in advanced manufacturing, whether you're software or hardware, tell us about it, because we would like to know what you do, and we will try to examine if there, if there is a fit and if there's a fit to either a hexagon problem or a customer problem that we can do at the same time we're doing the particular challenge. Usually in the future, we will not have these broad challenges. It's more just because we're starting. In the future, more of the challenges will be very, very particular and very focused uh, about certain areas of, uh, of interest. Okay, uh, and are there companies, I mean, this is a fairly new program. Do you already have companies on board that you're, you're working with? Uh, there's two, well, there's two processes that we're engaging. There's your organic process. We have a landing page. I can share that uh, at this point, we have more than 40 companies who have applied uh, okay. to the process. We can obviously be very objective and say that maybe half of those will probably not fit, uh, but the other half probably will. And then we're doing an outreach program from companies that we tend to track and basically tell them, this is what Sixth Sense is. Would you like to apply? And then we have ongoing companies that we have worked with in the past and those companies are going to probably be invited to the program regardless of, of what we're doing with them, just so that we can now have a more concentrated effort uh, as far as to how we can help them. Rather than kind of meeting a lot and not doing much, we are going to be really focused on trying to figure out how to help them out. So when you say help, I mean, I can think of a lot of ways to help. I mean, there's, there's financial help, uh, mm -hmm. obviously. There's, there's technology help. I mean, Hexagon has a wealth of technology that, that might be helpful to some of these companies. But there's also, I don't know, contact with Hexagon's customers that might need that kind of technology that Hexagon doesn't already supply. I mean, what, what, how would you define all the various help that Sixth Sense sure. would give them? Sure, um, and you, you touched on the first one. So the primary, like when we interviewed a bunch of startups before we kind of launched like Sixth Sense, one of the biggest things that we got from startups is uh, we're not really as you know, desperate for funding, which they obviously are, but is, that's not the primary goal. Primary goal is getting to customers. Being Hexagon, the biggest thing we can provide for all of our startups is access to those customers, meaning I know what you do. Here's a bunch of customers. They have these kinds of problems. Let's go and help you meet with those customers and maybe you can start working directly or through Hexagon with a, a joint project. That's a primary focus kind of to help them scale. The secondary part is more kind of what can Hexagon do for them more directly. So all our tools, all our hardware, any data that we have that's generated by those tools is at disposal to the startups, meaning we are aiming to speed up their development because suddenly they have access to things that otherwise wouldn't be able to get. And then in addition, we do the typical stuff. You know, If they have to come to the office space, although with COVID, that's always a questionable thing. Uh, and then we have some in-kind services from some of our partners uh, to basically help them be able to start kind of get that growth phase. An example is we're working with a a company out of Boston that's going to provide IP advice uh, for, for a particular startup. So if they want to do some IP, the company will help them uh, essentially get the process started. So the idea is in different segments of thing, we're offering services that they can get during the actual program itself in order to get to a place where they kind of are, um, you know, ready to jump off a little bit more. Sure. And I can get, if you want, I can get into what the actual program looks like just to give you a little. Uh, uh, I mean, well, that, that can't hurt. I mean, just briefly. Yeah. Yeah, just briefly, sure. kind of nutshell, what, what, what's it look like? Sure. Um, uh, we, we already talked about a selection process. So once they get selected, 
it's roughly a 10 week uh, duration, depending on the startup itself. But there's three processes. There's first part, which is getting to know the tech. So we sit with them, we look at the tech stack, we figure out what they do, how does it fit? What's the potential? Is there a way to improve it? Then we go to a really the long process, which is the business fit. So we basically look, what's the value? How do they create value? How do they make money? How they could make more money and those kinds of things. And we connect them to the sources where they can expand that. And then what they do is in the last couple of weeks before the big event in May, what they tend to do is they're going to basically, together with us, create an MVP presentation, meaning this is how we think we and Hexagon or we and a customer can create a better value and scale the business in the future. And then at the event in May, whoever wins gets either a fully funded project, a joint venture, an opportunity to get some funding because we'll inv invite some venture capital to those meetings. So there's not a singular outcome because there's no kind of a box for everybody. So we're trying to be more flexible right now as to what we can offer to the companies as a, as a outcome that can will help them scale and grow. Okay. And what's Hexagon get out of all this? Oh, you know, we all we all very uh, motivational. We don't want to get any. So altruistic. Just <laughs> so just from the good of our hearts. <laughs> we are so doing we're altruistic about things. Well, you know, there's many things that Hexagon gets. There's a couple of things that are more uh, let's call them touchy feely kind of things, which is. One is to affect the culture. You know, it tried to basically uh, show the internal people what it takes to be innovative and disruptive. So when you bring the startups, there's a different spirit in startups that could potentially, hopefully, infect what we do. Uh, the secondary is there's a big focus in Sixth Sense about diversity and inclusion. So the idea that we can bring more diverse startups into the actual uh, process and help them essentially get the access to a, a wider world of, of funding and opportunities. And then, as far as the third part is, you know, let's be let's be very realistic. It's a potential M&A opportunity, investment opportunity, and expansion opportunity for Hexagon. If we see the gem, you know, in the rough, and we're able to form it into a diamond, we would like to be part of that. Because in the past, we have missed opportunities with companies that we have partnered with, but we never kind of had an idea what to do with it. So companies grow, 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 and grow. And it's much harder to buy a company when it goes public and it's more expensive than to be in a relationship and invest with them early on. So those are the kind of things that benefit Hexagon. But ultimately, the other part is, you know, a little bit more, uh, uh, I don't know, something you can touch with, which is the increasing reputation for Hexagon for being known for innovation. That's the other part of it. And, you know, Dirk, you have known yourself when you list a bunch of our competitors and you list Hexagon, it's not like people go, oh yeah, Hexagon, I know those guys. It's sometimes, you know, the brand is still somewhat young and is building up. We would like to use Sixth Sense to kind of raise the awareness and the prestige of Hexagon brand. You know, you, you mentioned M&A mergers and acquisitions. I mean, Hexagon, if anybody who knows Hexagon knows Hexagon is really known for acquiring lots of companies, but they do it smart. I mean, anybody would, even your competitors would say, you know, you guys acquire companies that dovetail very tightly into the rest of, of uh, uh, Hexagon's ecosphere, right? I mean, you, they, you guys have a vision for what you're trying to do and you don't just buy random companies, they, they dovetail. I'm assuming that a lot of these companies that come to Hexagon for six cents are kind of in the back of their mind going, man, if we look really pretty, Hexagon's going to come in and, and we'll, we'll make some money here because Hexagon's going to buy us. I mean, I'm, I'm guessing that's probably in the backgrounds of their minds, right? True. I mean, you know, and, and I'll be honest with you, initially, we're kind of looking at Horizon 1 and meaning Horizon, meaning stuff that's more immediate. So, you know, we're trying to see stuff that benefits both us and the startups at the beginning. So when the Horizon 1 means there's something that's an immediate effect to the business at hand. Uh, but at the same time, we're trying to look at Horizon 2 and 3, something that's out there somewhere that potentially opens opportunities for Hexagon that we ourselves have no time, have no expertise, have no resources to explore. It is a much better way to have a startup be able to tap into that thing. We see where it goes and then figure out where the combination of the resources goes. And as you said, there maybe it's some sort of an M&A activity or we just let them go on their own, but maybe we do some investment on the side and let them kind of, you know, flourish on their own. They don't doesn't always have to be part of Hexagon, which is a little bit of a, a switch in how we're looking at the, at the world of uh, companies out there. Because as you said, is usually we buy companies with solid EBITs that contribute to the bottom line of Hexagon, and we've been pretty successful in doing that. Okay, uh, and and finally, I mean, is again kind of 
dovetailing with what I just said, Hexagon is careful about typically who they work with and does it, does it match kind of the ideals that Hexagon has for their growth. So is this by invitation only, companies that, that Hexagon goes, yeah, this is a fit, or can any company says, hey, I've got some great tech, uh, I like you, Hexagon, I want to apply? I think it works, it works both ways. Uh, the landing page technically is open to any startup. So as long as startup is aware that Six Sense exists, they're more than uh, welcome to come and apply. The survey itself has a little bit more detail that asks them what they do, what problem they solve, who is their competition, and those kinds of things. And on the other hand, uh, we also have relationship with startups. So we do an outreach campaign to those startups saying, hey, are you interested in this kind of thing? Not everybody will. I've talked to a couple of companies that are really good candidates, but they don't feel they're in the right space to be part of Sixth Sense. So I think it both goes, goes both ways. I anticipate most will be uh, basically just applying on their own, and then a small subsection will be invited to the program itself. Okay. All right. Well, uh, Milan Kocic, head of Sixth Sense Open Innovation Platform. Uh, thanks for being thanks for being with us today. I appreciate it. Thank you very much, Dirk. Uh, and there will be a link uh, to Sixth Sense underneath the player page down there. So you can click that link, go out, get more information. Uh, that is it for today. Thanks for joining us. And w oh, if you have any uh, other topics you'd like us to cover on the show uh, or any people you'd like us to invite on, just send an email to qdl at qualitydigest.com and we'll do our best. Uh, once again, Milan, thank you. And uh, that is it for today. We will see you at the next QDL. So long.